Yeah. Let's go. We just gotta go hard. Red River Scramble. I'm here at the Baird Man. And uh, we're about to head out on our first little ride, a little short ride. single track and some gnarly two track it's late in the day it was raining the last few hours but it's kind of stopped for a moment and I'm on the small bike because it's gonna be some nar nar the tenere's for tomorrow but this will be the red uh, country creek trail you can see it starts down here this is our setup you can see people coming in setting up we got the red burrs we've got the trailer let's take a ride we're getting on it folks Ready, Baird Man? Push to talk. You ready, ready, ready? He made this thing. This is a uh, just a regular flatbed trailer. He built that on the front. I don't know what's inside. He's probably got a bed, his kitchen, and a bathroom in there. And he tows his bike. Now, John went over and talked to him about it, and he was willing to sell it at a really, really reasonable price. Less money than, than I, could, I think I could go buy a trailer. Lago Linda, Hideaway Campground, Red River Scramble. Going to be a mutter, folks. Thursday, day one. This right here, I heard from some of the guys that they do races here during the year. It might be an enduro race. I don't know. Call the campgrounds, check in with them, and find out about it, what all they do. You already see all the slop. Yep. Gotta be flying. Dave, you better get a little speed. <laughs> so motorcycle boots with water in them feel like cinder blocks on your feet because well, it feels it's... like i got weights on my feet right now <laughs> that's what it's about is adventure and that's what that is that was tough that was a tough hill you made it <laughs> you made it heck i'm dropping your bike i think if i could have dabbed if i had a little bit shorter It'll be easier. Your bike is tall. It's tall. It's tall for me. I'm 6'5". Well, see, if I would if I would have hopped on it, I would do the exact same thing John yeah. did. Yeah. Yeah. Because. 300. Look how low that ground that yeah. is. Yeah. I think, you know, the, the thing about that that's that's so horrible, and I saw it in the video, is people get to it and they're like, oh, I want to turn around, but the main road is right over there. Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, like I said, I, I got to, w when I saw it, I was like, 
oh man that's the one that all these tenerays and stuff are going through it and they keep yeah yeah and i was like yeah i've seen people get stuck there for half a day yeah I in like, a video i literally was like all right here we go <laughs> i would be hauling through here some good trails this is some nice single track all right <laughs> Good night, you just gotta go. Stuff is slick. And it's only gonna get worse. I better wait on Baird, man. You got this, you got this, trust that front tire. Get at the bays on this steep hill. Just stay on the throttle hard. Off right here. Very sketchy. Hopefully not. There we go. And I gave him a path now to get down it. You can do it. It's not as bad as it looks. Perfect. 
There you go. Just let it roll now. <laughs> you did perfect. <laughs> Man, these holes are deep. I just went way in one and fell. What about right there? Is there, can I get through right there? Maybe not. I got it if you want to walk around. Alright. Yeah, these mud holes would swallow us alive. Uh, that's what I don't feel like doing. No kidding. Alright. washed out coming over that ledge. Ah. It's through here. It's too slick to go down the center because that's wet, sloppy clay. was super slick and David's got a half worn adventure tire on his dirt bike Well, I want to do this. I want to blast this loop because it's short and I'll meet you back at the camp and it won't take me long because this is like good primo stuff for me. Is it? 
That'll take me about. Put in, put in the Well, this is gnarlier than I expected. Yeah, it's pretty. And the rain is back. And the trees are down. About a year ago, I got I got fed up with the Cardos and the, uh, the the comms on helmets, and I switched over to GMRS radios, and I use a a, a VTEC Pro, and my <laughs> my radio fell off on the trail, and these guys that that passed me, they uh, they had it with them. So this guy here, he was telling me that they they said they were just going to drop it off at the main office. So boom, I, I didn't lose my uh, didn't lose my radio. It, it, I got it like the next day. So that was good. I appreciated that. Thanks, guys. Opt. Changed batteries after it died. Hydrated. Looked at the uh, time. I probably got 30, 40, 30 minutes of usable light before it starts getting pretty dark. Let me see where I got to go. Looks like I'm. Okay, I've done most of it. I, I, and then once I'm at the road, I'm just gonna hightail it. So let's uh, let's get moving. I can hardly see. Glasses are all fogged up and wet. Safety glasses. All right, a little bit better once I'm moving. Woo. Ah. Get out for pitch, pitch dark because I got to do some road riding with no headlight and that's going to be dangerous. Probably five, ten miles of it, maybe less. But been a second just then but I was whoops should have gotten down in first hopefully I'm through the nasty nasty and it's more flowy like this but you never know Ah! 
Rocky. Mm, off at the Swap Fest. Here we go, straight on. That way. Go to the right. There you come. Ooh. I don't have too much longer light. An hour or less at most of usable light. Let it go straight, yep. I'll go from here. I'm gonna have to let air out of that rear tire on my tin rate. Whoa! Um, tomorrow and not run on stuff like this. I'm gonna have to tell Dave to lower his air pressure some. Out of these woods pronto I can hardly see anything out here so there was enough time in the day it seemed like there was enough time in the day to take one last ride the sun's going down he's in the woods these are deep dark woods and the sun's going down when that happens you can't hardly see your hand in front of your face and John does not have a riding light or a backup light for his helmet Ooh. I don't know anything about this. It's hard to follow, but follow the track. Drew's probably been back here recently riding this. Just guessing on the trail in some of these places.
Dang, it wasn't bad at all, but it looked scary. I could not see the bottom. And, whew, I just... Uh, things like that can be four feet deep or like that was six inches. You just can never tell. That means out usually. Alright, I'm probably back in 15 minutes, I hope. You know those big flat rocks? You'll have traction as long as you're rolling. Yeah. I'm so thinking... once you get out of clutch, just go. I'm thinking we're, uh, you guys went up on the right or left? Which one? I went. Right down the middle? Uh, essentially the middle. Whichever way. But I kind of I kind of went to the side and then shot to the middle. Yeah. That's what I did. Okay, so you came up, you came out on the left, going on the top of the hill. I, I went back in. I went back in. I don't think there's a long way as long as you're rolling. Yeah. That's the key. You need momentum. to roll. It's all about momentum. What a hurricane. Red River Scramble. We're going out riding. The hurricane has really prevented a lot of people from riding today. But, uh, or from coming to the rally, but we're gonna be out here and we're gonna do some riding. And I am not on the Tenere today because everything is gnar, gnar. There's flood watches. Might as well be on something I can get traction. We're gonna do the adventure loop, the uh, advanced ADB DDBB 100 today. So um, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but uh, I'll try to do some narrating and some filming when we get into the uh, sportier sections which will probably be the entire thing we got David up here on his Husky 450 I'm on the WR 250F and behind me is our neighbor here we just met today his name's Daniel he's on a gas gas 300 two stroke brand new so we should be capable in this stuff today so I'll turn it back on a little bit
back country by way we are now on looks like we're dropping right down to the river more rock houses up to the right I'm excited about being out and hear some of this Davy's gonna have to go a little bit quicker though or I'm gonna run up on them I'm curious if this is something I could have done on my itinerary today or not. We'll see how this turns out. Of course, we just started it. I also like to do some overlanding on it in my truck sometime. It's pretty back in here. go I'm glad I did not wear an adventure jacket today I just got this little raincoat on it's doing all right the thing just would have been heavy and soaking wet and hot today I bet David is trying to find the appropriate line. There he goes. Looks like he did good. Ooh, a little deeper than I thought. Here you go. 921941. Looks like the roads are about to get a little sportier. Which is good. I'm going to the outside. Smartest thing I've ever done coming out here at dark by myself with no lights on tracks I've never ridden. But darn it, my blood was flowing and it wanted to ride. I'm just letting the suspension do the work so I can't see the road. And there's just rock ledges and boulders and everything else. Uh-oh. Deep as 
<laughs> I don't know if you saw that. Good thing I, the tire bit and pulled me through there. That was a good two and a half feet deep hole in the center. Trust the bike, David, you're gonna be fine. Your suspension, he's got better suspension than me. That bike will carry him over any of this. But I am glad I'm on this bike than the Tenere on some of these. Let's see. Uh oh. Yeah, I got it. All right. There we go. Alright. Oh. It's easier on these dirt bikes. Yeah. At least you didn't have the tuner, right? Eh? You no kidding. Alright. I got it. Oh. Um he's using transit. Yeah, that's uh, like a rock just now. Well that one dude, he he came in from Ohio. The one on the DR six fifty. in the WR. You just never know. David don't know where he's going. challenge point.
that's not a cave over there? What we got? Interesting. down the main road so we had we saw a road that bypassed it and we've been on it and there's a million of these trees and we got down to it and we went right over the track we're like where's the truck at and i realized it went under the mountain through a tunnel and we're on a dead end road so there was absolutely nothing we could do now we got to go back through about 20 trees. Ah, that's part of the adventure, right? The unexpected. We're riding out dual sporting in a hurricane. You didn't bring the tenor ray. Yeah. <laughs> Stepping out of the shadow in my room. Caught between cowboy clouds and misty rain. Silver dress by an adventure. Uh oh. Let me help. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got it? <laughs> we made it though. Oh! Whoa, this thing's heavy. Do front wheel drive. <laughs> We're through, David, and there's a car on the other side. It means we can get going. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, awesome. Well, you'll see the line off to your left in a few miles. That's the way we go. You got a knife on it, do you? Yeah, I do. Let me see where I got it, but I got one. It's right here. <laughs> I've done a hundred of those. I know exactly what you mean. Thank you. <laughs>
came in for a little bit, now the rain's right back. It is sloppy. trees over these trails we're trying to do some workarounds because we can't get under this one we've been dragging and pulling getting our bikes under all these trees this one had to come up on the ridge through the woods and it's a little sketchy drop off right here very sketchy hopefully not Whoa, about fell in that hole. Whoa. Can't hardly see him blasting down tracks I've never been on. Need to make some time and get out of here.